Fag Town. Welcome back to another episode of LLC TV presented to you by Limitless Lifestyle Crew. Be sure to follow Limitless Lifestyle Crew on Instagram at Limitless Lifestyle Crew and also visit our webpage at LimitlessLifestyleCrew.com. I'm your host, Town32, JT, if you know me. Uh, I appreciate you all for coming back for another episode. Today, um, on Cop Something, uh, it's going to be a little series that I do just called Cop Something. When I show you what I picked up, um, some of the good things that I picked up, I'm going to try to limit the, the products that I do show so that we can, you know, kind of talk about it and, and diverge into what it is. Um, you know, maybe get you a little bit of details, but I do have some good stuff that I could show. As you see here, some Supreme stuff um, that I don't think I've even gone over anything yet, but that's not what today's about. So we're not going to worry. As you see, you see the Nike box. You already see that there, but you also see this. All right, this bronze Jordan Funko Pop. So this is a Foot Locker exclusive that came out last week. Um, came out last week. Some stores got it. Some Foot Locker stores got it. A lot of them did. But um, I think it was probably limited to just one per uh, per customer. Unfortunately, I was not able to go into the store and buy the, the item. But I was able to get Love You Online and actually buy two of these. Um, and I think they canceled one of my orders. So I had to I already reached out to him to see, but I haven't heard back anything just yet. But it looks like they canceled one of my orders. But I'm, I am happy to own at least a personal. I wanted another one so that I can cop the the black jer uh, black jersey Funko Jordan Pop. I don't have that yet, as you can see. Um, I just put that LeBron up there. I probably should take it off. I probably will. Um, but as you can see, I have pretty much the the Jordan Funko Pops up top, but I am missing the black jersey. So. Um, I am willing to trade. I have a bunch of the Target exclusive 56 Funko Pops, and uh, I would I would be willing just to swap one out, you know, swap out a black jersey or swap out a, a Target exclusive for a black jersey Jordan Funko Pop. If you're interested in doing so, please let me know. Um, I think that's what three or I only brought one. That's crazy. I bought the the fifty the the Target Funko Pop exclusive. I don't know how many I bought. <laughs> I bought a lot, maybe about nine, almost like nine of them. So I have a bunch of them, um, but I'm only I only had this one on display right now. Happy to be able to secure this so I can add this to the collection. All right, so this is a goodie, but this isn't what we're here for today. So let's get to you know why we're here. Um, Nike box. It is Wednesday, so you know that this was a weekend cop. Um, something that I copped Saturday, I actually got lucky with. Uh, and I can't complain because Nike has been doing pretty been doing pretty well with me. So, Nike box, Jordan 1 Nike box. As you can see, size 10. So we already know that this is going to be for me. Get the box out the way. And this is my first time looking at the shoe. Um, even though I had the box open, I hadn't looked at the shoe just yet. So let's see what we got. And right away, we see we have some different papers than what we would normally get for Jordan 1. Um, and hence, this is a Jordan 1 uh, SB uh, collaboration shoe, essentially. Um, there were two of these that came out. What is it? The NYC to Paris and then the... Uh, LA to Chicago. Um, of course, the more limited being the LA to Chicago. This one also happens to have a better resale value. Ironically, since it's the more limited, limited version of it. But, whew, whew, I was able to cop this on the Nike sneakers app. And right away, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Take it in. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gazing at the shoe myself. This is a beauty. So, I was able to cop the LA to Chicago uh, Jordan 1 SB. Alright. 
And as you know, uh, with the two uh, Jordan 1 SB collabs that came out this weekend, this paint, uh, I think all, all outside of the white, the, the gold, the purple, um, the Nike check, this paint can be removed, right? So this is why this is one of the more sought out, sought after J's. Removing all of this paint or all of the painted areas, purple gold, will result in an Air Jordan 1 Chicago, which I'm happy to say that I own that shoe as well. Um, I own an Air Jordan 1 Chicago. I got lucky with that, but I got a great deal for it. Um, so I own an Air Jordan 1 Chicago, which helps me because I don't have to remove all of the paint just to say I got something similar to the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. I've seen a couple videos, uh, Unbreakable Kicks, um, Jock, Jock Slay, um, also uh, Bull, Bull's Bodega or Bull, um, where they remove the paint off of their shoes. And for Unbreakable, I think what he was doing was removing all of the paint off of the shoe. I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, I actually like Bull's version of it better where he just took like a Brillo pad and just made like scuff marks on the shoe. Uh, it looks better when it looks like it's worn and you can still see all of the colors associated. So I don't want to get rid of just the purple. Um, that's not going to be the move for me. I don't want to get rid of um, all of the gold. That won't be the move for me. What's going to be best for me is probably just scuffing it up a little bit. Um, you know, this is a nice shoe. I really wish I could have doubled up. Um, just so you can keep one, you know, DS the way it is. Or so you can sell one. These shoes are selling uh, in my size, size 10. Last I checked, it was like 380 or something. And it just went down. That's what's crazy. It was like 400. Um, with it being 400, it's hard to sell. If you do remember, there were the Lance Mountain Jordans that were similar to this. Um, and I, had, I do have the Lance Mountain Jordans. At least I have. Um, I have the black pair of Lance Mountain Jordans. So I'm happy to have those. I'm still looking for the white pair. Um, I think with the white pair, I was probably uh, removed the paint. For the black pair, I haven't removed the paint. They just, I like black shoes. So they look so much cleaner to me uh, with the paint on. And then you can see the little hits of blue on one shoe and the little hits of red on the other. Um, but with this, I'm, I'm highly impressed. Um, this is an awesome shoe. As you can see, one of the notable differences is going to be here for the toe tag. So it's, it's Nike SB, letting you know that it's not just a Air Jordan 1, but this is a Nike Air Jordan 1 times Nike SB shoe. Um, so this is dope. This is dope. Um, as far as wearing it, like I said, because of the different colors associated, this is going to be something that I'm excited to pull out. Um, so I look forward to it, you know. I look forward to it and... Um, probably present you all with a you know a D a DIY video of me um, you know breaking these down the way I want so there you are LA to Chicago Air Jordan 1 got these off sneakers thank you sneakers for um, a cop I do appreciate that and uh, other than that like I said it's Wednesday y'all so be prepared tomorrow tomorrow is Thursday a lot of people don't like what Supreme has but mm, there are some things that are worth copying uh, in particular, that patchwork tie-dye hoodie. I'm going to cop that. I did cop a tie-dye hoodie today from uh, Farmer Simpson and Young Buckets. That'll be my second one. So as soon as I get that in, of course, I'll be doing a review on that. But I appreciate you all for joining me and these Air Jordan 1s. Pretty, ain't they? <laughs> Pretty. This has been LLC TV by Limitless, presented by Limitless Lifestyle Crew. I appreciate you joining, and we out.